Hello everybody. This is Al Kroger from At Delta Bridges. I'm out here on a beautiful Thursday afternoon at the Miller Ferry Bridge. Very busy bridge. A lot of ag truck, a lot of car traffic. Take a look here. Juicy's in the distance there, the Juicy's Dock, Miller Ferry Bridge on the North Fork of McCullough, Twin Cities Road. What we have here is our bridge tenders shack. Let's go meet Ernie Espinosa. Ernie's been the bridge tender here for seven years. I'm sorry, he's the bridge operator. They're not bridge tenders anymore because they don't maintain the bridges. So this is where Ernie works out of. Hello, Ernie. What's up, Al? How you doing? Good, good. Ernie, would you tell us a little bit about the Miller Ferry Bridge, what you do here? Miller Ferry Bridge? Uh, well, my job is to open the bridge when a vessel wants to get through, a vessel being a boat. Uh, we have a green radio. They called me on Channel 9, and they'll let me know. They want to open it, and then I go over there and I open the bridge, let them through, and come back, and that's it. That's about it as far as the job goes. And the rest of the time, I just sit here and watch TV. <laughs> well, there's a lot more to just. You have to stop the traffic too, don't you? You yeah. have to lower the arms. There's a whole series of events you need to go through, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, we do. We, uh, we'll put the lights on, slow the traffic down, make sure traffic stops. Then we get the arms down, and then once that happens, I get up there to the middle of the bridge and I swing that bridge. So you, like I said, the boat goes by. It's about a five-minute process from start to finish. Okay. So, um, and, and you have to go out there on the middle of the bridge to operate the controls to open ride. the bridge. So you ride the bridge when, it's, when it spins. It's a swing yeah. bridge. Yep. I'm out there to build the bridge. Well, maybe we'll have a chance later to do that together. There's we, an opening. Uh, you hear an opening, it'd be no problem. But I can't open it unless we have a boat. Right. Ernie and I were... Uh, I was here the other day with Ernie. And a boat came by for an opening, and um, I just happened to be walking uh, across the bridge, and he said I could ride along with him, and we had a great Facebook Live video, but my phone overheated, and my signal was lost, and I lost everything. So I'm here doing just a video now to make up for what we lost, but... It's not as good. This is a pretty, this is a pretty special place. When was this bridge built? Do you know it? 1955. It's on the end of the... It's on the end of that bridge over there. If you, when you walked in, if you, when you on the back, far side, look over there by the semaphore. It's, okay. It's inscribed on the arm that's going down. The okay, arm. we'll get a we'll get a picture of that later. Yeah, they're, they're uh, supposed to be talking about building a bridge now. They've been a while since they, I guess, they're working on it, but I guess it's too old. You've been here for seven years, and they've been talking about it for a long, good part of that, right? Yeah, about, yeah, about six years, I'd say, about the second year I got here. Yeah, I wonder when that'll happen. Well, maybe in the meantime, they could do something to improve this. Yeah. What we have here, I would not, I would not call this a shed. It's my office. <laughs> uh, I would not call this an office. I would hesitate to call it a shack. Actually, I've seen better looking vegetable stands, honestly, Ernie, and it's nothing personal, please. But you have a workplace environment here that is riddled with code violations and safety problems that could put you, your equipment, your job, and the travelers of this state at risk. You're in a safety related position to control traffic both boat traffic and vehicular traffic. Yes, sir. You would, be expect, you would expect to have a telephone that works here, but we have a phone box here, and there's some problems with the phone. I tried calling Ernie this morning. I couldn't get through because his phone line's been down for about a week. He reported it to his supervisors. It's still not fixed. He has electricity, as you see here. We have a little box with a wire that comes out to this plug over here, and then this overloaded wire that's why it's all wrinkled and kinked because it's been overloaded over time and this if you follow it out 
do a little plug out there by the bridge. And so this is Ernie's electrical supply for all his safety equipment that he has here. He doesn't have a, a wired radio like an air traffic control tower or many bridges have. He has this handheld radio with a battery. If you look closely, you'll see paint chipping off what paint there is. Other surfaces are completely unpainted and broken and repaired. Ernie used to have an air conditioner here and a microwave, but those got stolen because, as you can see, there's no door, there's no floor, there's no windows. It's all open at the top. If I came to a vegetable stand that looked like this, I would probably not buy their food. Just saying, just saying. But this is what Ernie, this is the best Ernie has got from the county. San Joaquin County, is it? San Joaquin County. Now, Ernie hasn't complained one iota about this. This is all me doing. This is me talking. This is all me, not Ernie. But I think Ernie deserves better, don't you? We have a phone line over here that goes to this box, but we don't have underground electrical. We don't have water. We have a um, an outhouse. It's a porta potty that gets serviced weekly. Thank you, San Joaquin County, for doing that. So let's go out here and take a little look again at our bridge. I guess that's bridge patina. We wouldn't call that rust. That's patina. You can tell it's a pretty busy bridge. I have to be very careful walking across here because there are no sidewalks. There's hardly a shoulder. Last time I walked across this, I was halfway across and cars started coming. I had to climb up on the side, on the lip, just to get out of the flow of traffic. It's very dangerous. Ernie does this every day. Seven days a week, nine to five. Ernie's available during the summer hours, on call through the rest of the time. There's another car coming across here. They don't slow down. We'll go back across while it's safe. Back over here to Ernie's shack. Ernie Espinosa, thank you so much for the tour. I sure appreciate it. I hope to come back and ride with you again on your beautiful bridge. Four days a week. Thanks for your time. Five. Wait, you're here four days a week? Me. The other guy's here three days a week. Okay, gotcha. Seven days a week, but I'm here four. Okay, nine to five. Yes, sir. All right, and what's the phone number that doesn't work? What? 716-1560. 916-776-1560. Yes, sir. Once I get it working, you can call and say hi to Ernie. Hi. I'll run over Okay. Thanks, Ernie. Miller Ferry Bridge.